And Jane is back safely with us here in Doha. Uh, Jane, welcome to you. I, I, I suppose looking at what's happening in Homs today with the, uh, the, the, the massacre that's going on there, I mean, how, 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 what do you make of that? The massacre that's going on is not a surprise, and it certainly won't be a surprise to the activists who are featured in, in that story. While I was there, they were very much so aware and very vocal about the fact that they were surrounded. The uh, massacre itself, however, isn't happening in that area, that's Bab Amr. It's uh, happening in Khaladiya, uh, a neighboring area. But these activists can't get, get there. I just spoke to them on the phone. They're trying to donate blood. Uh, all the opposition forces and activists themselves and civilians are really trying to rally together, but that's very, very difficult. The government claims that, in actual fact, what they're trying to do is protect people from these marauding armed gangs that are uh, taking over the streets of Homs. Uh, while you were there, did you see any evidence of that kind of thing? I didn't. I didn't see any evidence of anti-Assad forces in any way harassing local people. In fact, as they took me around, uh, the activists themselves, the anti-Assad forces, this free Syrian army as they're calling themselves, were everywhere. They, they, were, they were pitched up in small checkpoints on various parts of that part of the city. Uh, the civilians were living side by side with them in their own homes and quite often the civilians would come out when they saw us. Uh, there's no sort of a sign of them hiding or, or going back into their houses. In fact, they came out and they wanted to speak with us. They knew who the activists were. They knew that they were bringing in journalists and they were actually very, very keen to cooperate. Mm. So I didn't see any anything that would could be called marauding in any way. Mm. Uh, you talked in your report there about um, uh, activists being determined to get the message out about what was happening uh, inside Syria. What about information getting in? Are, are they aware, for example, of all the various diplomatic movers, maneuvers that are going on in international level? Well, they certainly do their best to stay in touch um, in that direction. They have, as, as you've seen in the report, they've got internet and they have television and they watch a lot of television and the internet. They speak English, uh, a few of them speak English, so they're able to get on the phones and Skype is, is a big lifeline for them. So they are trying to gain information, but from their perspective, getting information out is more important. Also, we would sit down together and we were watching uh, every day what was happening at the UN. We were watching all the international wranglings. They themselves are, of course, stakeholders in this, and they're very interested in what's going to happen. But of course, they were also pessimistic that uh, any kind of help was going to come out of this UN negotiation. Really interesting stuff, Jane, and uh, really important uh, reports there. Thank you very much indeed for that. Jane Ferguson there.